Folks, this is supposed to be Scott Colton's promo time. The same Scott Colton that I announced was going to be in a triple threat matchup this weekend versus Vine and Anestra for the number one contendership. But after that five way matchup, Ronnie Metro gave Scott Colton another pile driver. And when the kid looked at me with his eyes glazed over and his pupils enlarged, said, I'll see you on Wednesday for Camp Rand and I'll see you Saturday. I says, kid, you're all heart. Sorry, thanks, but no thanks. Ronnie, when you first got here, I took you some sort of clown. Try to make a name for yourself. We hurled jokes at you. I compared you myself to Nicole Bass. Son, I'm convinced you really are crazy, and I know crazy. And I feel kind of bad because I think my actions made everybody else turn up with the comparisons of you and Nicole Bass. People questioning your sexuality. I think we really pushed you over the edge. Now what I used to think was a joke has become a cause for concern. So what do I do? I keep putting you in situations where anyone with a normal sane mind would have learned their lesson by now. But you're so far gone, you just don't get it. You want to make a name for yourself around here? I'll give you credit for it. You're a decent enough wrestler. You're a terrific athlete. You're obviously graced with self-discipline. But this weekend, you're going to be put up against two of our best wrestlers. They're technically sound. They're young. They're hungry. They're focused. I heard you and Veronica talk about a triple threat, but you're leaving something out. The match has a very special stipulation, Ronnie. It's the first to two falls. That means you got to win two falls. You don't just get one pinfall and walk out of this one. So you better bring a lunch. You better take your Prozac, your Haldol, whatever the hell else they got you prescribed on. I'm hoping this week that those two are going to teach you a lesson and knock some sense back into your whack ass. We'll see you Saturday night.